So KVK ended for us last reset. And I was expecting the season in retrospect, which we will eventually make a video for in the upcoming days. But what I was surprised about was instead of only looking at the overall rankings, there's actually now KVK rankings in game. So we have the healing leaderboard, kill leaderboard, and the death leaderboard in Rise of Kingdoms. So let's get out, let's go, let's go through it. Let's see what has been done in this KVK. So for healing, Peacemaker is number one, Amada Z is number two, Pac number three, and we could scroll through all of these players. Look how many units has been healed from each player. It's kind of insane. 60 GT definitely being in there. We got we got a pretty decent representation from all the kingdoms here. 1671. I'm at 1606. Um, I believe I should be somewhere down here. We got Pro here at 46. So it's really interesting because this shows how many people were tanking for the kingdom. I feel like healing, how many units you've healed overall should be a stat in the more info in with your account. What do you guys think about that? Because it is a pretty, there you go, I'm, I'm actually up here in the top 100 at 96 with 146 million units healed. I'm definitely the most I've ever healed in a KVK. So even though I did cheeseburger, I was out there as well with the 96 in terms of healing <laughs> and that did take up all my he all my healing speed ups but it's crazy to think there's this many people above me that healed more than me and spent more than me so that just shows the scale of this kvk in terms of kills we could go back up to the top here for individual peacemaker gapping oh my goodness there peacemaker is 140 million kills above second place at 724 million kills this kvk um mr go um second place at 585 million and then we got this a con player at 577 million arvix leopard up there at fourth and fifth we got blake yy amad aziz uh 960 was definitely farming the kp here 1034 is in here too um but it is a lot of 960 2377 um i i could just imagine the trades and one thing that's really interesting is you could kind of compare and contrast people's performance based off of how much you've healed versus how much you've killed. So I healed about 140 million. We got Tasty Taco up here in 48th place. Um, and I, that, I killed 212 million. So about, I didn't go one for two this KVK. I mean, I'm surprised I even went positive in terms of amount of kills compared to amount of healed. But yeah, I, I, th I think I did pretty decent. What is that? Like, why am I doing quick math right now? Like 70 million difference from how much I've killed versus how much I've healed. So still an overall positive mark. I think like 1.5 to 1 trades for this KVK, um, which is why it was so costly. We can go ahead and look at the death leaderboards. I'm definitely not going to be up here. I didn't start off with enough power, but apparently this is actually Sean. Um, from 960 so huge amount of deads 56.1 million deads is insane mr hope wild line up there as well leopard benjamin arvik so a lot of the 960 players definitely were swarming a lot it's a lot of 2377 players we could continue to go down here we got pro at uh, 25th we got skiz up here too so i definitely think our kingdom <laughs> we got mr panda up here so we got a lot of players up here from 2268 as well and I'd expect us to get a lot of deads because uh, um, the flag holds that we're doing in Kingsland um, were really really costly for our players but at least we were able to get the dead stat up alrighty so we could go into alliance for each of these stats now 960 in 60 GT 15.5 billion units healed is kind of insane 2377 at 9.5 billion, 1v at 9.2, um, we got 1875 at 7.2, 1034 at 6.9, 1671 at 5.8, and we're actually kind of, we're, we're up there at 5.2, being Thunder Camp. I think that's pretty impressive, being Thunder Camp and, and being 7th um, at 5.2 billion units healed for the KVK. Um, we could continue scrolling through here. A lot of units healed from multiple, multiple different alliances here. So 
All right, so we got the kill leaderboards for alliances, 60 GT, 23.7 billion kills. So if you compare and contrast here, um, 15.5. So they've gained, <laughs> they like were positive by 8 billion kills, which is insane. Um, obviously, we weren't that positive. I think we had 5.2 compared to 4.7. So we, we were definitely negative overall trading as an alliance. Um, 2377 at 11.4 billion. We got 1034 at 8.6 billion. Um, 1875 at 7.6 billion. 1671 at 6.7 billion. Um, we got 60 MX at 5.8. Wow, we are all the way down here in 10th place, by the way. Um, <laughs> that's crazy how how few kill points we were able to get because of how negative the trades were. I'm guessing it's just because how negative the trades were. Um, and it's also really, really hard to even hold open field against 960. So um, that is how we ended up in 10th place. We could continue scrolling down here until, yeah, these are um, some of the farm alliances, I guess, because sub V is down here. Um, so there you go. And then the death leaderboards. I think this is where we should be at a decent spot um, as maybe not an alliance because we did hold from AM, which is why AM is actually higher than SV. 60 GT at 794 million deads, GV77 at 703 million, 1V at 511 million deads, you got W75 at 488 million, Magu at um, 482 million deads, AM68, which is where we were holding our flags for a couple days in Kingsland, at 467 million. Um, we got infamous seahorses from 1606 at 415. Um, 1606 again being at 397. Um, PLA 391, and we got SV at 383. We can continue scrolling down. We got 60 MX at 367. So a lot of lot of deads. It it tracks it based off of where the dead troop was was made, which is why like all these deads are so spread out among all these alliances even in the farm alliances so we could tell a lot of farm accounts were used and filling in this kvk for the final recap here 960 being at 21.4 million healed um it's pretty insane 1034 18.8 they definitely healed a lot of troops as well um 1671 at 16.5 1875 at 13.9 we got um 2377 at 11 billion troops healed we got uh, 2260 at 9.9 .9 billion, um, 1606 at 9.3 billion, and then finally 2891 at 5.4 billion. As for kills, yeah, we did not trade as positively as a kingdom. Um, about like a 1.3 billion healed to kill point discrepancy, which is you know to be expected when you're racing 960 most of the time. 960 with around like an a nine plus nine billion kills compared to healed at 30 30 point six billion kp we got 1671 at 1671 actually being second in kill points at at uh, 19.2 billion then we have 1034 at 16.7 followed by 1875 at 14.5 billion then we have uh then we have 2377 at 14.2 and then we have 1606 at 8.7. We have us in 2268, 8.6. And then finally, we have 2891 at 5.4 billion kills. And the final leaderboard is the deaths, which we are actually the highest up we've been. <laughs> I mean, I guess that means we killed our troops, right? So we got 1671 actually getting the most deads of this KVK, which I guess makes sense. They were in that 1v2 scenario consistently holding the fort line at 2.1 billion dead troops this kvk we got 960 at 1.8 billion dead troops themselves um super closely followed by 1034 at 1.8 billion as well um 1875 at 1.6 2260 at 1.4 then we have 2377 at 1.2 1606 at 1 and then finally we also have 2891 at 1 billion troops killed Alrighty, so look after looking through all of the kingdom numbers here i actually created some graphs to visually represent each of these leaderboards so that we can see you know 
um, how much 960 gap to the rest of us, I guess, and uh, how all the kingdoms stacked up against one another. So this is the first graph here, and this graph is actually the units healed. So 960, of course, being up there, um, we have 1034, then we have 1671, 1875, 2377, 2268, 1606, and 2891 in a pretty nice uh decrescendo here the blue being the five side which was the r side and then the red being the three side which is 960. so yeah it does look like you know 960 on their side really did heal a lot of troops all right so let's go into the second chart here which is where 960 almost doubles the next kds here where it is the amount of kills gained this kbk so 960 up there at 30 billion um, kills 1034 a bit less than 20 billion so we could kind of see the visualization here where 1034 gained practically half of what 960 did um, when they were relatively even in terms of the amount of healing they did 1671 is up higher than 1034 1875 is is also there but and it's actually pretty interesting how close 2377 is to 1875 i'm um, almost matching them in kp 2268 and 1606 we're, we're, we're like neck and neck over there and then 2891 um in the bottom here as we go on to deads and i was actually really surprised as you guys saw with my initial reaction 1671 um having the most amount of dead troops um 960 being close second and that's actually really surprised to see 2377 down there although they did you know join the fighting later on um i guess one of the things is too because 2891 also has a lot of deads as well in the right zone where 1875 2891 and 1671 were fighting had a lot of rallies and stuff so that's probably where they got a lot of deads away because our side were definitely trying to push them out of that zone for sure um which is why 1671 is leading the kpk in terms of deads Alrighty, and this is the last chart that I really wanted to to show because this chart shows the amount of kill points you've gained compared to the amount of troops you've healed as a KD. So it actually looks like 960, as expected, traded super positive this KVK. All three kingdoms from the from the three side traded positive, but 960 um, doubling the next. Uh, most positive person which is 2377 and 1671 is not not far behind and the only kingdom that traded positive in our kvk was actually 1875 um the rest of us 1034 um 2268 1606 and 2891 we healed more than we killed meaning that we traded negative for this kvk